Hiya crafters, Amy here with Amy's Wares and I'm going to revisit gilding flakes. Now here I have a package of Nouveau gilding flakes. This is a coppery sort of color. I have a couple rolls of um, two-way stick tape. I have some cardstock and here's a photo of the finished cards. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory. Um, I recently posted a video of this process with a different brand of gilding flakes and it was my first time using them and it didn't quite go as planned. Uh, the flakes of that particular brand were very small, it was very glittery, very messy and a bit of a disaster. The card ended up, ended up looking great and working okay but I think I'm still finding little glittery bits um, all this time later on my uh, craft surface. So I wasn't a huge fan of how messy it was and I kind of abandoned the whole technique um, until I placed the video and then I thought, eh, well, I need to at least give these Nouveau ones a try. So I am incorporating a couple things to minimize the mess and I can tell right off the bat that this is already a different experience. You can see how big these flakes are of the gilding, gilding flakes within the tub. The other brand that I used was nothing like this. They were very, very broken down, very almost glitter like from the get go. So my first thing that I'm trying to do here is only take out as much as I need. Now this isn't necessary, obviously you can funnel whatever you don't use back in. But again, my goal here is to try and do this and somewhat minimize the mess. So I'm just pulling out some flakes and I had removed the backer on the two-way stick tape that I put diagonally in a design across the card panel. And now I'm gonna close this up. Now make sure you don't sneeze or breathe or do this by an open window or a fan or you're gonna have hot mess express. Now, as you can also see, I am working in a shallow box. Um, I put a piece of scrap paper um, with some washi tape with like a little um, pull handle on it so that I can lift that up. But I'm working within this box to again, try and eliminate further mess, which again is already working so much better. So the combination of this other brand um, and the flakes being a lot better or a lot bigger and then working within this kind of confine of this box, it's, it's night and day different. So it's already a much better experience. Now I'm not gonna say they don't still get all over, um, but I got so many great tips the last time I posted this. Um, a lot of people said use the Swiffer, cloths and things like that or like a lint roller now here you can see i i didn't quite pull out enough so i was trying to really use the little flex left in there to really cover up any remaining stickiness i could have just pulled out a couple more flakes and been fine but again i was just trying to eliminate the need for you know having to dump or funnel extra back in now here i'm just kind of using the brush this is a nouveau brush just to kind of scrape any little excess that was on my desk into the box and then i was able to lift that sheet right out and then just dump that you know either into the tub or into the garbage so way better experience now like the last card i do want to 3d emboss these so i have a couple embossing folders i did end up changing the orientation of this one um to vertical just like the other but i am in love with this right off the bat i absolutely love the gorgeous copper color um, i did get some little you may have seen me trying to mess with the brush i did get some little um, pieces of the brush like the brush hairs got stuck down to it again if i would have put down more of the flakes right off the bat it would have covered the stickiness and i think it would have pulled less of the little hairs out of the brush so again do yourself a favor take out more than i did um, and then you probably won't encounter that. But I did have to fish off some of the little hairs from the brushes that were getting stuck to the two-way stick tape before the kind of flakes took it over. Now I'm picking out some sentiments. These are from Honeybee. Um, and that's my storage solution for my sentiments. And now look at all this gorgeous bling. I'm so obsessed. So this is all from A Colorful Life Designs. You've probably seen me show their products. I um, lead the design team for that company. It's a stencil company primarily, but she does have some stamps and she started selling these bling packs and they are amazing. And they are in so many different colors that it just it makes me so happy to shop through these containers every single time I make a card. And I've yet to find a color that doesn't work with whatever color I'm working with. So I wasn't sure here if I had something copper, but sure enough, I ended up finding one that worked out great. That was crystal metallic 
Calypso, I think is what it was, and it was a perfect match. So I put them down in an odd number on the front of the two cards, attached them to card bases. They're slightly smaller, so there's a little bit of a border, but an easy design, and I'm happy to report I am now a fan, again, of the Gilding Flakes. So just be mindful of the brand, and you'll have a different experience. Thanks for spending time with me today, and I'll catch you next time.